These lessons are quick and approachable and designed to help you with your watercolor practice. As an amateur gardener, I'm inspired by all the things that nature has to offer. Grab your supplies and let's get started. Hit subscribe and thanks for painting with me. Today we're going to paint a cute little chick. I'm going to start by drawing the chick's head by drawing an oval shape really lightly in pencil. Next, I'm going to draw the chick's body. This is another oval shape, but it's sort of at an angle. Then I'm going to draw a pointy beak about halfway down the length of the head. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to add a wing and the chick's feet. Chicks have three toes that point forward and one that points back. Next, I'm going to draw some lines that connect the head to the body, and I'm going to go back in and extend the chick's little tail feathers. Then I'm going to come back with my eraser, and I'm just going to erase any of those lines that I don't want. I'm just going to eliminate the lines that I don't need. I almost forgot to draw the eye, and so I'm going to add that now. Now I'll start the actual watercolor painting. The first thing I'm doing is I'm just laying down a very light yellow wash. The yellow I'm using is pretty warm, and so that means it has a little more orange or red in undertones to it rather than green. And next I'm going to just dab out a little of that paint just to make the wing a little lighter and to add some lightness to the face, and I'm just using a paper towel for that. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some orange to my feet. and to my beak. While the chick's body is still a little bit wet, I'm taking a darker yellow paint value and I'm just adding some shadow along the bottom part of the chick's belly and underneath its wing. Now I'm gonna start adding some fluff to the feathers and so using that same like medium to darker paint value I'm just going to start adding some textured strokes to my chick's body. Using my smallest brush for details I'm going to paint in the eye leaving a white highlight. Now I'm going to come back in with a darker paint value of orange and I'm just adding some darker paint to the bottom of that beak to add some dimension. I'm adding some lines and some darker paint value to the feet as well. Allowing the chick to dry for a couple of minutes, I'm then going to come back in with more just little brush strokes to add some texture and some fluff to the chick's feathers. And I'm just using really short strokes here in a darker yellow value. I'm just sort of working my way around the chick's body, adding little darker feather details wherever I think they're needed. And I'm also going to do some on the wing. The last thing I'm gonna do to finish up this painting is I'm gonna take some green and I'm going to create some grass. I wanna paint some behind the chick, some at the base where his feet are, and then I'm also can do some flick strokes to paint some grass that looks like it's in front of his feathers. The last thing I'll do is I'll come in and refine the beak using that darker orange value. And then I'm gonna add some lot more lines to the legs, and then I'm just gonna add some little talons to the ends of the feet. Hit subscribe and thanks for painting with me.